So the last topic that we want to look at for this section is acceleration. Okay. Now, we, we've already looked at acceleration, right? We, we know something about acceleration. We know that, uh, we know that acceleration is just, well, it's, it's r double prime of t. Um, or if you like, it's, it's v prime, right? Um, OK. So we, we know that. But what's going to be useful here in this you know, context of the unit tangent and the unit normal vectors is to express the acceleration in terms of those vectors. And so here's the catch, right? Um, velocity, right, is r prime of t. Now let's express that in terms of <coughs> the unit tangent, okay? Right? So the unit tangent is, is r prime divided by the magnitude. Turning that around, r prime is the magnitude of r prime of t times the, oops, times the unit tangent vector, right? And okay, this makes sense, right? Uh, think about think about what this is really saying, right? This is your speed, right? And this is your direction. Great. Okay. Now, um, what happens if you take the derivative here, right? Um, so the acceleration, which is v prime using the, the product rule is going to be the derivative with respect to t of the magnitude of r prime, right, times the unit tangent vector, right, plus the magnitude of r prime times t prime, right? Okay. Oh, but also remember that our normal vector, right? Our normal vector is one over the magnitude of t prime times t prime. So I can write this. I can go one step further, and I can write this as um, well. I don't really have a good notation for this, so I'm just going to leave it as derivative of the magnitude of r prime times the unit tangent vector. Um, and then I've got the magnitude of r prime of t right, times the magnitude of t prime times the unit normal vector, right? Um, and we'll see, there are probably some other ways we can adjust this. Well, in the next video, we'll look to see if we can clean this up a little bit and, and write it a bit uh, cleaner. But what you get is, um, you get something that looks like this. You get a scalar quantity, AT, sort of the tangential component of the acceleration, times the unit tangent vector, right? plus a sub n, which is the normal component of the acceleration, right, times the unit normal vector, right? So we have this kind of the tangential component and the normal. component. Okay. Um, so that's, that's pretty cool. Um, also, notice that the acceleration in all cases, right, because we didn't say anything about what this, um, what this vector valued function is. We said nothing about what r of t is, right? Um, the acceleration is always a linear combination of the unit 
tangent vector and the unit normal vector. So it always lies in a plane spanned by these two vectors, right? Um, so the acceleration is always in that plane. Um, so this, uh, this turns out to be a, a useful fact. Um, it comes up in a, lot of, in a lot of situations, in particular if you're looking at things like um, planetary motion, things like that. Um, there are applications there. A lot of stuff involving like circular motion. Um, okay, this is often a, a very useful observation um, to make about the acceleration when you're studying kind of kinematics in, in higher dimensions. Um, okay. So we'll, uh, we'll explore this a little bit further in the next couple of videos. We'll do some examples and then we'll move on to the last topic in this chapter.